Yo guys, Chris Lopez here with PeaceBrotherhood.com and in this video we're going to be covering the best workout for motivation. Now this is kind of a weird topic. It's not directly related to training. Uh, it's not re directly related to fat loss or any specific goal. But I will say this. Um, when you are working out, you have to find a couple things. You have to find a tra training style that you like. Okay, Because if you don't like it, you're not going to stick with it. Um, like, like for me, I hate to, I, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of CrossFit style workouts. There, I said it. Uh, but I love bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is my favorite thing in the world. I love bodybuilding. When I, bodybuilding style training, for me, I love it. So that is the style of training that I follow most of the time. Now, I will fit in some, some, uh, some conditioning circuits and some kettlebell work and jump rope in my off days and, and things like that. I've been trying to fit in more mobility, stuff that I'm not really a huge fan of because you know, it's, it's a waste of time, but you need to do it. Um, so I guess it's really not a waste of time. But <laughs> um, So you have to figure out what training style speaks to you and base the majority of your training around that. Now you're gonna to have to do other things, especially when you get older, like mobility work, or maybe you have to do yoga, or these other things that are gonna help with your longevity in the gym to supplement your weight training uh, or, your, or your CrossFit workouts or whatever workouts you do. Um, but, but you have to stay focused on that, that, that main style of training that speaks to you. Because if it doesn't speak to you, you're not going to stick with it. Okay? That's the first thing. So once you have that squared away and that lined up for, 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 uh, for the future and for your, for your training program that you're going to implement, the second thing you have to figure out is your why. You have to figure out why you're training. You have to figure out what, what, what is the reason behind your training, okay? And this is a deep topic. This is not something that, uh, that means you're training because you, you, want, you want bigger biceps. So why do you want bigger biceps? Why do you want a bigger chest? Why do you want to feel bigger? Why do you want to gain weight? You know, maybe you want to gain weight because maybe a couple years ago in high school you got picked on and you didn't like that too much. You know, maybe you were bullied in high school and you want to get bigger and feel more confident about yourself. Maybe women never looked at you, right? Maybe girls, when I was growing up, hard to believe I know because I'm so good looking. Um, but <laughs> when I was growing up, I was a total dork. Like, like I was like, uh, I, I didn't know how to talk to girls. Like I, didn't, I had no clue, you know? I was a total nerd in high school. Like, like so, um, so for me, training was, part of training was that. I wanted, to, I wanted women to look at me differently when I first started training. So that was my why at the time. Now, of course, it's different. It's evolved now because I'm older, and at 33, and a father, you know, a father of a 14-month-old daughter, you know, my focus now is to teach her that it's important to stay healthy and stay in shape, and also, um, you know, I, I have to be in shape because for her, you know, I have to be around for her. I have to make sure that what I'm doing, that I'm strong enough. If something ever happens, God forbid, to my family, I'm strong enough to do what I need to do. And I'm in shape enough to do what I need to do. That's my why now. It was much different when I was, you know, 20 and 18 and 19. But my why now, 100% is my family. You have to figure out your why. You know, maybe your why is because you were made fun of when you were younger, because you were smaller than everybody else. You got to figure it out. Got to figure it out. And we'll take we'll take more time in another video to figure how to figure out how to do this. Um, but the two things you need to do is figure out what training style you're going to follow, what speaks to you. Now, if you don't know, try a bunch of different ones. Try a bodybuilding split. Try a CrossFit. Try jujitsu. Try mixed martial arts. Try a kickboxing class. Try all these different types of training. See what speaks to you. And whatever one you enjoy the most based the majority of what you're doing around that. There's gonna be things you need to add in that you probably need that you don't like to do. Like for me, I hate to run, and I hate sleds. You can't see the sleds. I hate sleds, right? Those sleds, I hate them, because <laughs> they suck. They're, 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 they're really fucking hard. But I do them because I need them. You know what I mean? So um, you have to figure out what speaks to you, and you have to figure out the reason why you're doing it. If one of those two things is missing, you will not stick to, to your program. You will not be motivated. It will not happen. There's 0% chance of that happening. Okay? So figure out those two things. If, the, if you guys like this video, if it helped you, make sure you like, share, and comment, and subscribe to this channel. 
Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. There's a ton of other videos going up on this channel uh, and they're all to help you become stronger and more badass, all right? So that's all I got. Oh, one more thing, before you guys go, I have a free gift on the right side of the screen here. A tab is gonna pop up, a free, uh, a free muscle building gift, free workout gift for you guys. Click it, uh, it's totally free, it's totally for you guys. I wanna just say thank you for checking out my channel, subscribing, commenting, liking my stuff, and that's my way of saying thank you for sitting through five minutes of my video. Uh, so thanks guys, make sure you subscribe, like, share, you know the deal, and, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.